Hi, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori Jennifer and I'm about to unbox some some well some boxes uh with uh two and two classical Lolita dresses. One of them is from Innocent World and the other one is from Cheese Cocoa, which is if you have never heard of them, a Chinese Lolita brand. So let's go. So here is the first one and I've ordered it through uh, the Taobao agent uh, Spring Now um, and what I've ordered is basically a JSK with the blouse and also the, the headwear and also some kind of lacy uh, overskirt okay I'll show you them right now okay here is the JSK it's a very 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 pretty dress well it was also very very cheap and i didn't expect much much quality from it uh, as it was like maybe 30 or 40 dollars not i think it wasn't more than that i'll put the price here and still i think i i'm kind of happy with with how it looks um like here you have a really nice print of an, a painting a painting that depicts okay i'll show you a painting that depicts uh i think it's venice i think yes i think that's venice i don't know the name of the painting though uh and here we have some lace some very well oh, it's very it's very simple some simple lace but it's not itchy it's not it's not scratchy it's, it's pretty soft and it's lined which is very cool it's, it's lined so even if the, the outside fabric is quite thin uh, uh, it should still it should be comfortable still this is how it looks at the top it came with the headwear mm, with the same lace I think it's the same lace oh no it's not the same it's not the same it's, it's a different lace but it's in the same more or less same colorway as the dress it's a off-white pretty basic um, uh, headdress and I think it will work with most of my uh, coordinates even with this one maybe <laughs> here is the overskirt that you're supposed to to put on top of the bottom of the skirt I think I won't wear it because it looks uh, I really like how the dress looks by itself and with the lace it looks yeah it looks good on the photos, but wearing it IRL, I think it would cheapen the look of the dress, so I think I won't use it. And here is the blouse, which is a very simple um, off-white, no, ivory, ivory blouse. It's, it's very classical looking, it's, it, it's really nice. I like it, I really like it. And the whole thing wasn't 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 very expensive. It was like super affordable. And I think I will buy more from Cheese Cocoa because I think they have uh, a lot of dresses which are just like this. Um, they look cute and they are pretty affordable. But uh, but most of them are sweet more on the sweet side uh, while this is it's it's a very classic dress plus it's long it's like i think it was 110 centimeter well i'll show you when i wear it later but for now let's move on with the second package which was from uh wonder well So, oopsie, oh, 
uh, the detachable bow. So this is the Innocent World um, Rose Chiffon Striped Escape, if I remember correctly. And it's the longer version, which is exactly the version that I wanted. Plus it is the colorway that I prefer because lately I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more toward black, toward black or darker, well, not darker, just plain, not, well, not plain, but just black colorway of prints when I buy regular stuff, and it was um, the first time I've, I've seen this dress uh, sold was on, on Frill, Japan, and it wasn't even this colorway, it was the white colorway, and it was uh, about two hundred dollars. It was the length that I wanted, and even if it was white, I still really loved the print, so I was about to buy it. And then suddenly, uh, this popped up on Wonderworld, and I was like, "Get that!" Yes, it's shirt in the back with a corset dash, which is something I really want from uh, in a dress because, well, I have another another innocent world dress and it's shirt in the back, but it has no corset dash like this one, and it feels like even if it's really fitted, well, sometimes it just do that thing, you know that that, that thing, like for this dress, see it. It's short in the back, but it's not that fitted, and it can be comfortable, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. It, it doesn't look very pretty because the fabric just tend to do that, that, that thing. So let's move on to the try on. Okay, guys. So this is how the dress looks on me. I really love this shape. The shape. Really, it's really classical. It's, it's right the length that I wanted. It's I really like it. Uh, look, this is how this is what I was talking about earlier. Like here, um, it's it's it fits it fits correctly. It doesn't do the the frumpy kind of thing uh, here, and it gives a really 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 nice silhouette. I think. Um, I'm wearing it with a long but pretty thin petticoat so this is mm, I don't think it doesn't add much to to the proof but I still think it's really really pretty I really like how the torso looks uh, that's exactly my, my aesthetic at the moment and also what I really like about this dress is the zipper, you know, it's not the kind of super thin, super thin and fragile zipper, it's, it's, it's pretty big and it's, well, I'm not afraid to break it when I pull, when I pull the dress up. Here is the second dress, which is, as you can tell, way longer than the previous one, but it's, I like it. It's super comfortable. It doesn't have sharing in the back. It doesn't have corset, but the waist here it's got an, an elastic on, so it's pretty, it's pretty stretchy. Well, it's stretched this far, but well, since it doesn't stretch, isn't it doesn't stretch here? I don't think it's um, it it can work for someone uh, who's very very big. Um, uh, if you're tall, I think you will like this dress because here I'm like uh, 165 centimeter and it falls pretty low. But it's a really nice, it's a really nice um, classic dress. I like it. I really like it. How it looks in the back and how it looks at the front mm -hmm. you can wear it also like this but I don't find this very comfortable so I'd rather wear it this way okay so let's try it with all of the accessories on and this is how the full set looks like 
I really like the blouse. It's really simple, uh, you know, I'm wearing a lot of casual and it really works for casual, I think. And this is what I was talking about um, when I was talking about uh, the, the, the overskirt. Uh, look how the dress, uh, notice how the dress uh, looks pretty decent, even if it's uh, even it even if it's pretty cheap, but once you put the overskirt here, it looks uh, I don't know. It feels it feels uh, it feels like they try to do something more elegant, but with cheap quality um, material, and and that uh, that I don't really like it. I'd rather have the dress by itself. Okay, so I took it off and it's it feels already better and here you have the the headdress which is super super small uh, you can barely see it really but well uh, i don't really mind and well this is how the dress looks like and i think it will look better once i will but for, but for now it's a nice, it's a nice simple casual slash classical dress. I wouldn't wear it for super formal events, but I definitely would wear it for for work, to go to work, or, or to, to do anything that isn't too fancy, you know? So, yeah. Thanks for watching as usual and bye-bye!